Wasabi, everybody. Ah, we got a load going to Harrisonville, Missouri. Uh, we're going to be delivering here to, in the morning. Uh, it's currently just before 10 p.m. here. Uh, delivering at 6:10. Ooh, that was pretty nice. Just uh, well, that was cloud. To, well, cloud to cloud lightning to look like. Uh, we're currently on Highway 7 in Missouri. Uh, coming up on the town of Freeman. Yeah, it's which, uh, which is in between where the Kansas and Missouri line is. You have zero hours and 29 minutes of remaining drive time. Oh. Yeah, I haven't taken a 30 minute break. I just stopped for fuel and... Uh, bathroom break in Emporia on the way over from uh, uh, Texoma, Oklahoma, which is right where the Texas and Oklahoma line uh, border are uh, on, on US 54. Then I got 6, 10 a.m. delivery to make. So I think we'll have, might have some daylight conditions so when it's time to actually make the delivery. Uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, we're going to have plenty of more footage coming up for you guys in the near future because uh, as soon as I get through with uh, the Walmart delivery in the morning, I'll have to dead head over to uh, Olathe, Kansas pick up my reload. That'll be about a 50 or so mile uh, deadhead route. And that load has four drops on it. So, of course, more pickups and deliveries means more material to record and post to YouTube for you guys. Potentially trying to stay back a little bit because that, that uh, I think it's a pickup or SUV, whatever the hell it is up ahead is uh not exactly going very fast. And I don't think there are many opportunities to pass. And when there are opportunities like right here, uh, end up having oncoming traffic. So, just don't want to deal with them. And I got time, as you see, 28 minutes. Uh, I'm only about 10 miles away from the receiver at this point. Wasn't into the Dodger game before the, you know, I'm way over here. Ooh, that was a, that was a close one. Good finish. Dodgers ended up walking off in the end with a home run by Cody Bellinger. About time he finally produced some offense. And he had a great season a couple of seasons ago, but then last year he just kind of fell on his face, offensively at least. Defensively, he's still, uh, you know, still great. Golden Glove, uh, Golden Glove caliber player. But offensively, he's just sucked. This year, he, he hasn't done too well. And, uh, well, he hasn't played that much either because he's been injured. Uh, I think today might have been like his 20th or so game of the season. Uh, remember how many games the Dodgers are in already. But, yeah, anything that'll that'd be kind of nice to see him uh, produce some more home runs. I mean, he had over 40 homers uh, a couple of years ago. So, I mean, I kind of wondered why, why he's struggling so much. Anyway, you guys aren't all fans of Dodgers, or maybe you guys aren't all fans of baseball in general. Of course I am though, and of course uh, since you're watching my channel, if you're interested in watching what I have to say if you're on here probably, or you know, maybe not so interested at them. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm, I was born in, uh, I've been a Dodgers fan ever since I was a little kid. He does say I'm happy with the result tonight. What can I say? Alright, I think we're about 
about eight miles away from the receiver now. Um, at least, yeah, I think it was somewhere around there. I didn't want to say it was like 53 miles out when I got onto Highway 68, which turns into Highway 7 uh, from I-35 over in Ottawa, Kansas. Uh, I've currently done about 45 and a half miles. So it should put me right around 8 miles or so uh, from here to the distribution center. Then again, uh, I have, I'm have using Google Maps to figure that out and there's a possibility and it's trying to take the shortcut through town which I cannot do on my truck so might be a little bit further away I'm just kind of ballpark estimating probably take a little bit longer than that I don't know Pretty good long quality shift last night, uh, 685 miles is what I did from uh, Williams, Arizona to Texoma, Oklahoma. Tell you what, I was a little bit tired there, but I mean, of course, that, well, that kind of happens when you show up at a truck stop at uh, almost 4 in the morning. But it's, you know, it was really nice having no traffic on the road to work with, uh, to deal with, or, well, I mean, there was traffic there, just not nearly as much of it as uh, a lot of you solar power drivers have to deal with. And there was a spot open at the truck stop, so that made for an easy time, too. Now, there were some other places over there in Texoma that I could have also stopped at before I even got to the Loves. I just happened to choose to stop at Loves. And of course, here I am gaining on this guy again. I'm barely doing the speed limit. up on I-49 right here. We're going to head south on 49 and it's just a couple exits down. I, I believe I can make this video a shorter, uh, relatively shorter video compared to what uh, you typically see me post. Uh, I did not include nearly as much footage as the last time I I always get this because I mean, this driveway right here for this other place always throws me off because the turn to me uh, the turn to get onto the 49 off uh, on ramp is right after that so it's real easy to uh, especially if you're if, yeah, especially I think if you're following GPS and it's telling you and such and such feet turn right first thing you're going to see is that, uh, that little street driveway thing, whatever, for the business right there. And I can see people making wrong turns onto that when they're, when they're intending to get on the 49 South. So we got to watch out there. Okay, I got the Love's truck stop on the very first exit up here. Then we'll have a way station right uh, shortly after that, and then right on the other side of the way station is uh, continuation of Highway 7, which is also the same exit I will be getting off at. Uh, we'll be ending this particular part of the video at the Sap Brothers truck stop, and we'll continue the footage in the morning. Yeah, same video for you guys, I'm just saying that for me it'll be in the morning, for you guys it'll be uh, right after. To make the delivery, we got here. Right. Yeah, I figured the way station is probably closed anyway. All right, we'll slide over. Looks like a trooper up here with a, a, a customer. Whenever 
when I hear trooper, because, I don't know, I'm from California. We don't call our state police troopers. They, they're called California Highway Patrol. But some states, they call them troopers. So, yeah, whenever I hear troopers, I automatically want to say, like, Koopa Troopas or something from uh, Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have relatively less footage here of uh, the trip to the DC than what I did last time. Uh, that I uh, last time I delivered here, and there should be some shorter, uh, you know, shorter material to work with. Uh, going from Sat Brothers to the DC and uh, delivering it back. I'll have to find out if the truck wash across the street it will be open tomorrow because tonight is Saturday night and Sundays a lot of businesses are not open. So uh, oh, there's a you know the truck wash across the street from Sam Brothers. It's one that I'll have to look at. Or the, well, I'm not the biggest fan of that one, but I don't want to have to get off at the exit where Loves is at just to get a wash out. Uh, and then there's the other issue if I do have to go to the one by Loves. Will it even be open? And you know, I'm just hauling produce, so there's no. There's a guarantee I'm not going to end up with blood on the blood inside my trailer. So there's a possibility I might even just sweep it out or something, depending on uh, uh, depending on what the st uh, what the story is with this place across the street. Not to mention this place across the street's expensive for washouts. They're like $46 or some crap like that for a washout. That's like, that's exorbitant. Most businesses only charge about $40 at most for a washout. When they start charging more than that, it better be like some, uh, some extra time spent cleaning up blood or something or whatnot. opening over there but it's a difficult spot to get into. Let's see if there are any other ones open over here on this end. I might even just park illegally like in the middle of the lane or something. Unless I can find another spot. Uh, find a spot. Well, is, is there a second spot over here vacant? No, it was a fucking bobtail in it. Alright, what about, no, there's a, uh, I can always park in the middle of the lane if it comes down to it. Looks like there's a JCT over here. See that graph there, the body, uh, yeah, the graphics on it, it's easy to spot. Alright, let's go check the other side real quick. Uh, if I don't find anything over there, I'll just come back over here and park sideways. I'm not going to spend all the time. zero hours and 14 right. minutes of remaining drive time. Yeah, I really don't know. Trying to turn off the volume. Because there's one particular spot over here that people tend to avoid because it's very hard to get into. We'll take a look. Uh, nope, there's a truck hitting. Wow, okay. Now there's another JCT. What the hell's that? That's not double T, is it? I think it is. What the hell is he doing here? I thought he was going to Paul's Valley. Alright, so we'll circle back around. just park in the middle of the lane because there's uh, plenty of room there where you can park in the middle of the lane and uh, trucks that are actually parked in regular spots can still easily get in and out of their spots. That's how ridiculously wide this lane is. Why they don't make an extra row of parking here, I don't know. 
time. So now if somebody does leave then I can always move to a spot. If not, no big deal. I'll just come over like you say, just come over here and get turned around and make do. Sooner or later some of these guys are going to go make their make deliveries or leave anyway. Now here's one thing I'm going to watch for. These guys are nosed in over here. get out of their spots over here. I'm, I'm closer to the spots on the left than I am to the right. And uh, this would be uh, no problem for them getting out. So just stay tuned. We'll have some more footage for you guys in the morning, I think. Or if I'm able to get into a spot here sooner or later, I may add that in. But plan on just you now we'll press forward and uh, when it's time to make the delivery in the morning. Alright guys, a couple of drivers just pulled out of their spots right now, so man, that didn't take long at all. I was only here for a couple, maybe a couple of minutes. There's a spot right here, and then right when I started turning around to, to start setting up for this one, uh, another guy over here across the lane pulled out. on to the to delivering after this all right guys it's time to go make the delivery uh, I actually got up before my alarm went off uh, that's PC over so I forced to move by shipper receiver all right So, was able to confirm uh, for those of you guys who really care. Uh, 
Double T or Kyle Thomas. I can tell you, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was his truck over there. Apparently, he took the double T thing off of his uh, truck as well. Um, those of you guys who uh, are on TikTok probably know who he is. Uh, I don't think he's the biggest fan of me, so I didn't even bother trying to make contact with him. So, and I really don't care. Seems like he's a good guy, but he just, I don't, know, I don't get the right vibes from him, I guess. Alright, so just left turn out of the Zap Brothers. And won't even be going very fast here. It's, I'm not even doing 15. Which is why I'm not wearing the seatbelt. Another note, I'm pissed because I just found out right before I started the truck up, my brand new shorts that I just got, I'm wearing them for the first time ever right now. Um, they, tore, uh, they got torn on this fucking mud flap right here. I got the, uh, they have mud flaps in front of my number two axle and in back of my number three axle. This is my left number two axle mud flap. And um, the pipe broke on it. It was like, it just hanging by a thread, so I ripped it the rest of the way off. And I need to go get to a dealer or somewhere and uh, get a new hanger and install it. I can do that myself. If I can do the work myself, it won't be a problem at all. Uh, but. Um, yeah, nobody here in line at all. Uh, but I, I gotta get this rehung. Until, uh, until I can get it rehung, though, I have it here temporarily. And I was trying to go from the sleeper berth back up to here so I could start the truck and Qualcomm and all that up. And then it got then it caught and snagged. Freaking put a big hole in my shorts. Uh, it's all. I'm pissed off about that. Alright. Let me grab my bills. We're gonna check in. Ah, uh, speak of the devil, he's right there. Okay, let's go get in door 220. I think that was him. Looks like he had longer hair, but so I don't know. But the truck I did see over there when I went to go use the restroom after I parked. It was somebody with a recently paid off truck, so I assume it was him, but I don't know why he would be here when he said that, uh, I think he posted on his TikTok not too long ago that he was uh, delivering in uh, Paul's Valley, which is south of Oklahoma City, and that would have been yesterday though, or I would have expected that he would have been delivering there yesterday. So how we got from there to here, I, eh, I don't know, but eh, not like I really care too much, I guess. Just saying for some of you guys who, I'm not even learn this. <laughs> I'm doing 10 miles an hour here, and I'm in there a lot. Guess they ran out of drop spots. A couple of Walmart drop trailers here. Parked right in the middle of the row. Kind of like the way I originally parked when I got to the parking lot. And speaking of, you noticed when I left the spot this morning, 
uh, there were a couple of trucks parked in the middle of the lane the, the same way that I originally parked when I first uh, got over there but fortunately for me I wasn't parked there I wasn't stopped there more than maybe a couple of minutes before a couple of other drivers left and uh, made, made space for me to get right into a spot it's pretty common actually even at truck stops if a truck stop is full be surprised how quickly uh, the spot can open up from uh, just someone doing a 30 minute break or uh, starting there, or maybe a midnight runner or starting their shift or something. Ah, look up, we have some other trucks here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my lights so I'm not shining at the shining at the guy he's trying to back in up here. got a couple other guys here waiting for dock doors it looks like all right 220 is going to be a little bit further down on the um in the row facing me let's see what this guy in here in front of me is doing first sit there and expect me to move anywhere else when um, I'm expecting I'll probably be over here by where these two red trucks are uh, on the other side of the fire hydrant over from the tents of truck guys who's sticking out. the other side of this uh they are on that gap there between the, the blue kw and the red freightliner Let's pretend we're back in 
rebirth now. Guys, I'm gonna get checked in now. Uh, fill this out before I go in there. Driver name, cell number. Driver unload, no. Do I have other freight? No. Load locks, yes. Two. No pallet jab, no bulkheads. Alright. So now I'm going to get checked in. And we'll see you guys when it's time to dock out. Probably only take about an hour. Uh, or a couple, no more than a couple hours. This is a cross dock, so it's probably going to be a, a, a pulling fax. Um, so I don't really expect to be here very long. Not only me, but. Well, more, I don't really care. Uh, if I sit here a little bit longer, great, because it gives me more time to both sleep and do more video editing, try to catch up, because I'm, I'm, I'm behind. Anyway, we'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, we're all done here. This was a long one. Um, it's 10, uh, it's almost 10.30 in the morning. trying to raise my backs back up. Um, starting to think something was not right when uh, I thought I heard them going into the trailer earlier like not you know, right around my appointment time, 6 10-ish and I went to sleep and I heard nothing and then it sounded like they were going in and out, I, I heard them going in and out of my trailer again uh within the last hour and barely right right after they went out of the trailer for the last time the Walmart was already calling me up come, uh, come to the office and which had me wondering if there was a, a problem because uh, they're that quick to call me after that and then Come to the office, not, hey, your bill's already come to the office, whatever, it's kind of threw me off. And this is a pulling fax on top of it, so, really weird. They hooked up and double check, it's a uh, pulling fax, that means there's no OSD for me to take uh, to deal with, but I'm not really trusting it. I mentioned this this morning, but uh, my brand new shorts got torn up by this uh, mud flap and I was trying to come up here to the front earlier. And pull forward and we'll check, I'll get my load locks out and then double check there's nothing in there. We'll send an empty call. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to yard move. So I'm starting a shift right now too. Um, oh wait. Stop, stupid. Clutch is acting up again. Yeah, I need to do my uh, empty call first. Oops. Also forgot to turn the reefer unit off, which I'll fix in a second. I'm not using my drive time on this, but I'm being kind of legit. Going to check out a consignee yard move. Okay, so from here I'm gonna go back over to Sap Brothers. Yeah, uh, get me a restroom break, probably get me some Dunkin' Donuts. I'm not a big donut eater because it does tend to give me heartburn. Oh, okay, we're on this side. Uh, Martin's coming at me. Plus, I don't know what this guy in front of me is doing. Look like he's squaring up to. Uh, is he getting ready to line up to, yeah. I can't tell if he's stopping to close his doors or, yeah, he's, he just set his bridge. No sense closing your doors if that's where it is, unless he's going, oh, he could be sliding his tandems too. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go back to Sap Brothers. You can get the use the restroom, get a drink, get some Dunkin' Donuts, even though they'll give me heartburn later, I'm sure. Um, huh. And we'll end the video over there. And then I'll start a new video up uh, after when I'm ready to leave there. But actually, when I'm ready, uh, I'll probably get washed out at the place across the street. They are open today, according to Google. So I'll make it washed out first, and then when I'm ready to move, when I'm ready to leave the wash out place and head over to Olathe for my pickup, I'll have a video going, I'll start some recording footage for that.
this uh, trailer control record. came in. Alright, I'm not going above uh, yard move speed, which is 25 or less. So I'm just going to stay in yard move status. Uh, until I get over here. Until I get up. Until I'm already at Sap Brothers. Or better yet, also over here at the uh, the truck service place. Uh, I was thinking about just cleaning the sweeping out the trailer myself, but it's, it's a little messy there. Red pickups going first before we go anywhere. Yeah, he's turning. Nice. There's a stop sign right there. I'm looking right at it. Why did you not stop? Oh, because I want to beat this truck. It's turning anyway. Over here. Last time they wanted me in B2, but uh, I see the little step stand thing right there in front of B1. I'm willing to bet you they'll put me in B1 this time. Especially when there's that, uh, you know, that belly dump in the uh, B2, in front of B2, yeah, inside B2, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go in. Uh, what did I do? Go fast enough to put it in drive mode? Apparently, I thought it was 15 miles. I thought it was 25. I don't, didn't think I went that fast. <sighs> okay, apparently I'm going to be sweeping this trailer out because uh, they said it's going to take about an hour before they could get to me because they got an oil change to do. I'm like, dude, I got a, I got a load I got to get to and I'm already supposed to have been there an hour ago. And it's going to take me about an hour to get over there. Or not quite an hour. Uh, I told him, no, thanks, I'll just, I'll just go sweep it out myself. I'm not waiting an hour for a freaking washout. And then she mentioned a place across the street from Gloves, but I'm like, yeah, they're closed today. I already know. It's it's Sunday. They're closed. I'm not even going to waste my time. So we'll come over here. I'll just uh, end the video over here and then uh, sweep out my trailer over here as well. Somehow. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to be... Uh, I'm going to get a perimeter spot. I want to be facing... Down, I want the trainer facing downhill, not uphill, so I'll put it over here in a couple spots over from this freight later. Go do my thing and then uh, sweep out and we'll get a new video going. Okay, I 
straight that thing rolls. Alright, how about right there? I want to make sure I can be able to get in the trailer. Off duty. Okay, so I want to sweep out and then I'll. Uh, I'm in this one here, sweep out, go inside, do what I gotta do in there, and come back out, and we'll get moving on another video, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, see you guys on the next one. Thanks.